Hi Raking Studio. There were young guys discussing German cockroach in the supermarket. Looks annoying, and they are looking for a roach killer. Gee, what's going on? It's so terrible. Waking up in the midnight and be surrounded by the German roach. It's so unbelievable. They are not so tenacious. Just people taking the wrong control method. So the correct way is. By the following method, we can wipe out 99% of the small roach. This is really effective. Though they come from all over, we can still get rid of it. But this road has no end. We must keep going. Guys, let's do this great thing together. Here we go. This is a giant roach. It's easy to get rid of. Just follow the recipe in this video. It will be done. It's Bretella. It's more commonly called German cockroach. The photo seems have to be beautified. <laughs> These are still German cockroaches, but too suck. They are about 1.3 cm in length. It's Sapella, another mean character in this video. It's just a baby. If it's growing up, we we'll like this. The two look similar. Now deal with this problem mathematically. The giant cockroach lens is 40 mm. German cockroach are 30 mm in length. The length of a sapella is 30 mm too. If the density is the same, the giant cockroach weighs 27 times less of the German cockroach or sapella. Similarly, the movement space of a giant cockroach is also 27 times less of other. What is the concept of 27 times? That's the difference between a man and hippopotamus. <laughs> you don't even need to think about how big the difference in their food index. So small roach don't eat much. Don't think that they haven't eaten the roach killer we made. In terms of mobility, to get rid of a giant roach, the room is used as the unit of a roach killer release. But the German roach or sapella use table as unit. You must release the roach killer table by table or cabinet by cabinet. It's like you can ask a rabbit run a mile in the same time as a horse. I mean, it takes 27 times as prey as a roach killer to bring the same space for German roach. <coughs> it's position, not quantity. It's a big gap, so that you will feel some roach killer are effective and some are not. Right now, I tell you why. Buckfucker, its drop placement is infinite. It's like a nuclear bomb. The house is full of poison after use. So you can't use it every day. In addition, this little shape roach gel. It must be effective. This is easy to explain mathematically. Apply everywhere without that end. The final portion remains in the crevice. But at least a little bit less nukes. The safest and the most environmentally friendly is the roach killing bait. But if our target is the German roach, you need dozens of killing bait at a time. Your personal protest. <laughs> Look the inside of the back box. It's like clay. It is every day. How can roaches suffer? 
It's very difficult to get rid of several species of roach with a single recipe. So there's no way, is there? Why don't you serve the roach? Get a buffet. Eat whatever they want. How could the problem not be resolved? <laughs> hey Ben, don't sleep anymore. Here's the point. Huh? <laughs> Guys, here's the key. Remember, German Roach and the Sapella has evolved. This stuff's lifespan is only half of a giant roach. Therefore, the change of the generation is fast, and the evolution is also fast. It likes to eat snacks as people. You can't use two stuff when preparing a buffet for roaches. The point one, you can use sugar as bait. Research data shows that about 5% of roach will avoid eating sugar. Don't underestimate the impact of the 5%. It's the key to the German roach's back. <laughs> the same goes for paper. This needn't be said again. Next, let's talk about the favorite of the German roach. It's actually starch and fat. Of course, like you, love fresh and varied food. Wow, it's too difficult. No, just go to the store and buy some snacks. But don't buy the caramel flavor, then tell me it doesn't work. Are you kidding me? <laughs> After listening to my unprofessional explanation, you will realize why this is less effective. Let's get to work. Here we go. Pick this today. This is another advertisement. You can also use your leftover potato chips. I have no idea if the spicy taster is okay. Let's crush it. It's easy, not difficult. The active ingredient is also boric acid. Because it's powdery, snacks should be crushed into powder as much as possible. I have no idea until now that this snack is so oily. <laughs> then put boric acid. The proportion is about 24%. I don't think you need to add too much. It won't taste good if you add too much. Pack it in the container. Because you have to put a lot of lamb at a time, you have to do a little more. Don't use this bowl and spoon for another purpose. Finally, remember to wipe the table clean. The German roach are almost gone from my house, and this may be my last roach video. Then, put it where you have seen German roach or sapella. If you are using this method for the first time, make sure that every box, cabinet, and table must have a bait. If this is either your first time fighting them, of course you know where they are going to show up. Counter and dining table must be filled with bait. The top and bottom must be placed. You know German roach are small and have a small range of activity. It's 27 times different from American roach. If it interferes with daytime activity, top up before going to bed. I started using this boric acid bait half years ago. My strategy is to put bed wherever I see roach, and this is best on a cabinet or a table. It's important to do, 
Under such a strategy, roaches are indeed decreasing rapidly. This has been proven to be extremely effective. I started using this bed half years ago. Its advantage is that it's easy to move and less dangerous to pets and children. Half years ago, I could still take pictures of them eating bait only in the wee hours, but not during the day. It's not easy to photograph because the roach population is running low. I started using sugar-free bait three months ago. I guess we can kill the last 5% roach by this way. This kind of a video is not easy to shoot because it has to be shot in the early hours of the morning and I usually get nothing. I started using boric acid almost a year ago. When I repaired the cabinet, I found out that it was full of roach egg casts. Mary dance but empty inside now. So the method we talk about today is very effective and it's affordable. How long does the effect last? Actually forever. But I guess it's better to replace it every three months. What follows is a week after the first baths were cast. It was three months ago. Wake up at 3 a.m. and check the bait with the phone. Shoot this kind of a video in the early morning. I'll definitely be scrolled by a photographer. <laughs> American roaches outside have long been wiped. Then look for if here is a German roach or a sapella. There seems to be nothing. I didn't turn on the light for fear of scaring them away. Ah, oh, here's one more survivor. Let it go. It shouldn't have a chance to go up. Looks like it's all gone. There's a black spot on the floor that's damaged tile. <laughs> what about the dining table? Check it out. Tell you we eat three meals a day here. But I'm sure there are no roaches here. The situation for the kitchen and dining room at 3 o'clock in the morning is great. You see, 2.54. Now I'm going to make one last observation. In fact, I can't find the roach anymore. If you want to see how amazing this is, come with me. The photographer is asleep. Let's go find the roaches. This is a video taken two weeks ago. It's still early in the morning, so I won't say what time it is, otherwise I will be scolded. <laughs> the big roach is still gone. There's a waterway going to neighbor's house here. So always put bed here. Close the door quietly or I will be scolded later. <laughs> Found nothing here. No German roach or sapella.
check the ground. Still nothing. Play music and happy ending. Try a few more tries and you will succeed. If you have no time to try, subscribing to Pyroking Studio can also improve your repairability and creativity. Subscribe to share and like. Thanks for your watching. See you next time.